Hey everyone, Donald from Talking to Podcast here. Here is a quick video on how to change your player's appearance using player form Little Maid. First of all, sorry about the uh, mic noise. It's really, really hot around these parts lately. Uh, we're, we're in a bit of a heat wave, and unfortunately I have to turn the fan on, so that's what you're hearing, the fan, uh, every now and then. It blows on the microphone. Anyways, sorry about that. So here's a quick video on how to change your player's appearance using Player Form Little Maid. First thing you want to do is go into your options into controls. Uh, because by default, the Player Form Little Maid GUI is bound to the grave key, which is actually the little back tick symbol. But that key never works for me. I don't know if it's just my keyboard or, or if or what, but I've never gotten it to work. So you try, you know, try pressing the grave key, and the, again, that's a little back tick, usually above the tab key on most keyboards. But if that doesn't work, you can just remap it. I usually map it to the Z key. So let's go ahead and activate the player from Little Maid GUI. Just press your whatever key. And you'll see here that I have my little maid character on. Now you notice here that the mode is shown as offline. Um, so if I click the Change Mode button here, you'll now see here that the mode is shown as online, and here's my standard Minecraft avatar. So I click Save, and here I am back in my standard Minecraft skin. Now if we want to get back into our player form skin, we just click the Change Mode button again. Uh, random, I guess, randomly chooses either a maid skin or your normal skin. Oh, actually, it looks like it randomly chooses a main skin. Or we can click here again, and that changes us back into offline mode. Now, to change um, which made model you're using, you can either use these little model arrows, or you can click the model list select button, and that will let you choose from all available models um, for each of the various colors. There are six, 16 colors in Minecraft, and so, for, for example, right now, I'm looking at color 0, which is white, I can go here to color 1, which I guess is orange, color 2 is pink, etc. and so on. Once we pick the actual color we want, uh, let's say we want to go with pink, now we can use these buttons here to scroll among all of the various pages of models, and once we found one that we want, I'm actually going to go back to white because I like this model. Just click on the model that you want. Um, and click select. Now you can change which armor you use by using these armor select buttons. Um, and if you pick the wrong armor pattern, sometimes you get some really weird looking results. But anyways, once you find one that you like, um, you just can click save. Uh, another thing you might want to be interested in here is handedness. Uh, as you can see, here in my first person view, uh, I am right handed. You know, my little item, the sugar or the uh, sword or whatever, is held in my right hand. If I change that, I can change that to left handed. So now, see, uh, whatever I'm holding is in my left hand. Or I can change that to random, which I guess randomly picks one whenever you start up. Um, these other things, customize, I'm not sure what that does. Oh, I guess you could change different attributes, like whether you want the the uh, ponytails or side ponytails or whatnot. Um, scale change will let you actually make your model smaller or larger. The default scale is 1.0, I guess. Uh, actually, the default is like 0 0.93. You can always get back to the default by clicking the default button, duh. Anyways, you can do all sorts of um, customizations here. I'm going to turn myself into the Maid of Doom. <laughs> I'm so, so tall that my head sticks through the ceiling. Anyways, you get the idea. There's all sorts of other cool... Um, let me change my scale back to the default because that's just ridiculous. Anyways, there's all sorts of other cool things you can change, but th but that sort of gives you the basics on how to customize your appearance in player form or just turn it off completely. Anyways, hope this video helps, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.